Okay, so we're in the process of wrapping up. Uh, did most of the cleaning the day after the weekend festivities at Wakala. And over the last few days, just been taking an hour or so a day, just trying to wrap up loose ends, fix anything that was broken, find anything that required various tweaks, and uh, sort of moving through things pretty steadily. We have uh, another effort at a push in Wakala in a few weeks, so it gives us actually a little bit of time to get things prepared. And we can see kind of what's going on. Here we've got uh, three of our different rebreathers. The one in the middle is uh, the lower half of the travel breather. And then we have uh, on the left and the right would be the main and the deco rebreather. And the nice thing about uh, the travel breather is that we can use numerous units. We could even put in travel breathers uh, for safety purposes. So that's uh, pretty convenient. Over here we've got various crates with uh, a lot of different gear in them. You see here three different food tubes. Uh, we really use food tubes at different depths and we can also use these to transport different uh, pieces of equipment if we need to keep them dry and bringing it down into a, into a habitat. So it's really just a simple tube, uh, usually uh, made from uh, well, either PVC or Delrin or ABS, and they have to. The most important part is you need a O-ring sealed canister that can hold what you need, and then you need a way to be able to relieve the pressure at depth. So once you bring this canister down to depth, there'll be a significant amount of external pressure as compared to the one atmosphere pressure that's inside the tube. So once you're in a dry uh, area underwater, uh, like a habitat. Then you can loosen this screw here, and that equalizes the pressure, and you can then get the lid open. Otherwise, at depth, you wouldn't really have any chance of getting the lid off, or would at least be quite difficult. Even with the latches off at depth, there'd be enough pressure on here to prevent you from opening it. So we have a, a couple different kinds of food tubes over the years. I use uh, really main, two main sizes. This design is actually neutral in the water, a little bit larger size canister that can accommodate or really food or any other devices if we wanted to bring a um, you know, camera for example or uh, headphones have been used uh, before when we've tried to use surface communication so we've got a variety of options there. Uh, there's a tried and true music player that uh, helps to alleviate a couple hours of the boredom and then over here we've got some of our lithium polymer packs I noticed during the charging cycles that uh, we were, I was seeing some unusual results and I'm unclear whether the one or two of the chargers is acting funny or possibly the packs. Here what you can see is you've got two different scooter packs and we have uh, four cells inside each of those packs. 